Today is March 10th. Tomorrow is the seventh anniversary of my late husband, Mark. And I want to share a journal entry I wrote on August 3rd, 2017. It is staggering to me how much of joy and purpose has been connected to Mark, loving him. I feel so out of place without him. I feel like I am living day to day without a plan, without focus, without purpose. Daily, I can recognize goodness in my life, but at the same moment, it is all swallowed up by my sadness and hurt. Let's see if I can make it through the workday, or will I need to leave early to come home? The entry at the end of the day. I made it through the entire day of work. I cried again in the bathroom. I dread the idea of being here another year worrying about oil at our home rental property shoveling the drive walk driveway the walkway daily being cold i know in my heart today i am not in the place mentally to start a new job god is rebuilding me when i am still i trust and know god is doing what is best Returning home from Virginia this weekend, I traveled the same route Mark drove when he met me in Dover when I saw him for the last time. I kept wondering what his thoughts were when he was driving to see me. What did he focus on? What did he look on the road? The route was different because there was snow. Then when I passed Dover coming home, the last place where I saw Mark alive, I was tempted to pull off and go there but I stayed on course. The sadness there today, but it did not overwhelm me. It didn't shut me down. I realized some consistent factors I've been doing. I've been journaling. I've been allowing myself to cry in safe spaces at work. I've also realized I am uber sensitive when things do not go as planned. I have to try to monitor my own reactions. I am tempted to apply for additional jobs, but I know it's not a good time. Going to learn to wait to exhale. I'm going to learn to continue working out because going to the gym helps me. It's 8.20 p.m., turning in by 9 so I can get some good rest. Tomorrow will be a new day.